Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today I am at Disney Springs in Orlando. We are at the Daily Poutine, and we are going to do a review of the Canadian versus the Italian. See which one we like best. If you have never had a poutine, you don't know what you're missing. This originated in Canada. That's why the original is called the Canadian. But we're going to try the Canadian on the left versus the Italian on the right. The Canadian has a beef gravy with cheese curds. And the Italian has mozzarella, pecorino romano, and, and a turkey bolognese sauce. Now, I had only had the original. I had never had something different like the Italian. But me being Italian, I figured this is going to be really good. So without further ado, let's give the Italian one a try first. Very um, Parmigiani. You see why they call it Italian. You can see there's even some, right here, look at that big, like, cheese. Both poutines had cheese. They were different types of cheeses, which made the flavor a little bit stronger on the Italian. Although it was delicious, I felt like it didn't have enough sauce. And at one point, the fries became very dry. You can see how you need a little bit more sauce. Uh, the fries were very thick. The flavor was good. It was a little vinegary, but not so bad. Now let's check out the other one. This is an original. This is the Canadian. Very good gravy. Yummy. So the gravy was really good on this poutine. And the cheese was good too. But the cheese needed to be more melted. It was a little hard. And I like my cheese to be soft and melted and gooey. That's what really makes the Canadian was the wonderful gravy and the chewy uh, cheese. I think they just didn't get it hot enough. So look at as we're finishing both of them up with no problem. So let's give them a rating. Well, the original, I'm going to give an A rating because how can you go wrong with the classic poutine, except that we needed a little hotter or melted cheese. I'm only going to give this a B rating because I ate all the sauce and then I was just stuck with hard fries that I didn't like, but both were very good. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and give us a big thumbs up.